so when we are doing exercise 8.3 before moving to exercise 8.3 we need to understand these rules so it is in the in your textbook only you can copy it later on let me just explain what does these means so if we understand this table carefully you will understand everything now sine and cos are related okay now if you see over here sin 0 this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 can you see that yes this is half this is half this is root 3 by 2 this is root 3 by 2 and uh, yeah, this is half now if you observe carefully if you observe carefully actually sin 0 degree is equals to cos 90 degree Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Similarly, sine 30 degree is equals to what? 60 degree. Cos 60 degree. Cos 60 degree. Yes or no? Similarly, sine 45 degree uh, is equals to cos 45 degree? Yes or no? Yes. Now, sine 60 degree equals to cos 30 degree. Do you see any pattern over here? Yeah. What is the pattern? If we add both the degrees and angles. The Sorry, louder? If we add uh, the angles of sine and cos, the sum would be 90. Very good. So if I consider sine A equals to sine, uh, sorry, cos B. So A plus B will be 90. Yes or no? Uh, yes. I hope you are trying to say the same thing. Yeah. If I am saying sin A equals to sin uh, cos B, then angle should be some should be 90 degree. That is for sure. Okay. It should happen like that. Now, based on this understanding, these rules come. Okay. Okay. I'll just give you one example. Based on that, you do the rest. Now, if I say sin. 10 degree. If I have yeah. to write this thing into cos, how will I write? Cos 80. Cos 80. But please do not tell me direct answer. How do you get 80? 80. 80, cos uh, 90 minus 10. 90 minus 10, yes or no? Yeah. Now suppose I have to write sine 20 degree. How will I write? In terms of cos, cos 90 minus, 90 minus 20. Yes or no? Yes. So if I have to write sin A, how will I write in terms of cos? 90 minus A. 90 minus A. So that is where the formula comes. Is that thing clear? Yes. Can you see this? They have written in, uh, yeah, here it is. Sin A equals to cos 90 minus A. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So always remember, sin is connected to cos. Okay, cos is connected to sin. So there are uh, six trigonometric ratios, sin, cos, 10, Cos sec, sec, cot. So these two are connected to each other. These two are connected to each other. And these two are connected to each other. Okay. Like this. Is that thing clear? Any doubt in this? So let me show 
10 is connected to cot. Now, if you want to uh, go and check this thing out, you can go and check through the table, which I showed you just now, like this. Okay, so you will be able to check that. So based on this thing, let us do the exercise now. How much time it is showing remaining for this link? 10, 10. 10 more minutes. Yeah. Okay. I don't think so, 10 more minutes. No, but uh, the timer is stuck on 10 minutes. Ah, timer is stuck. Huh? So uh, I'll just quickly send another thing so that I can discuss exercise 8.3. Okay, a little.